The next trick I'm going to teach you is called rewind. Um, this is a great trick. The, one of the great things about it is it's really good to practice um, to get yourself consecutive. It's a good trick to practice um, to, to make sure you're landing the string right every time. It's gonna, if, you, if you can do this one really well, you're going to be doing better in a lot of the other string tricks we start moving into. Rewind. Starts with the trapeze, like so. Comes back, lands backwards, double or nothing, back, and then you end in a triple or nothing, like so. That's rewind. When you do it fast, it looks cool. You're going backwards, backwards, and then you end in a triple or nothing. It's a cool looking move, all together. What you do, trapeze, you come off the string, but instead of just letting it drop, you actually stick out your middle finger or your thumb. Sometimes when I go a little bit faster, I'll stick my thumb out. I recommend when you first start using your middle finger, just put both fingers out there and you'll notice the yo-yo is going to go around your middle finger instead of just falling. So do that first, come off over your middle finger, and you swing it backwards around. Take your pointer finger on your throw hand and swing the yo-yo onto the string, like so. It's kind of like a backwards double or nothing. Not quite, because you don't have it wrapped around the whole way, um, but it's close to it. Then when you come back off, just stick your middle finger out on this hand again and come back around and land in what looks like a double or nothing, like so. Then, when you come back around, again, put this string on your thumb back here and you just do the same exact thing with a double or nothing, you come back and land on the opposite side with your throw hand, stick out your middle finger again, and land on triple or nothing like so. Let me show you again real quick. High speed. So it's back, like so. So back, double or nothing, double or nothing, you back, and then you come back around, and this time it's like the strings wrapped around your hand three times. Um, which is a lot of times, and it takes a little practice, that last move, when you come back around from the double or nothing, to get it to land on that string. You might need to practice that a little bit, because you're going to have to get the length just right, you have to get your fingers just the right width apart. Um, but with a little practice, it's really similar to landing double or nothing every single time, you're going backwards, forwards. Just practice getting your fingers to come out, like so, and eventually you'll be hitting it. So backwards, double or nothing, backwards here, triple or nothing, drop, and catch the yo-yo, rewind.